Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with Ian K. Stay frosty. Hey everyone, welcome back to another high quality foodie feature for you here on the channel, where this time I'm back on over at Wendy's to check out the return of ghost pepper to their menu, only this time it's part of an all new ranch sauce that looks perfect for their spicy nugs. That's right, and as you already know, it's the very simply named Ghost Pepper Ranch Sauce. Pretty nice, guys. I'm definitely digging the foil packaging on this one for sure. I can't wait to give this a go, and I'm expecting a little bit of heat naturally, but of course, the nice, cool ranch action that's going to go with it, I think it's going to be pretty good. Wendy's has some pretty good ranch anyway, so I'm hoping this is going to be solid. So let me open this up really quick. We'll get a quick aroma test of it. It's nice and ranchy looking, actually. Smells more like kind of like a, a mayo-y type of ranch than anything else. I'm not really getting any spices of it, but as you can see, the spicing looks like it's mixed pretty nicely all throughout. And again, I love ranch anyway, and this looks very, very thick. All right, so what we're gonna start off with is some of their spicy nugs naturally. That's how they're advertising this, of course. A quick little four piece, but I've got two other things we're gonna dip into. So hang tight for that, guys. I think you're gonna definitely wanna see what I'm about to do. But here we go. Let's give this a shot. Let's go for a little dunk here. Yeah, nice and ranchy, definitely. The spicing looks pretty nice all throughout. Let's give this a shot. It's the all new ghost pepper ranch sauce here at Wendy's. Let's do it. Mmm. A little bit of sizzle on this, but also from the chicken. Mmm. Wow. That's beginning to really pick up now. Nice and steamy. Whoa. I am digging this, guys. Very nice. I'm definitely glad I brought some water too. Aside from it being crazy hot outside, as you can see, this is really the perfect pairing for something like this. It only makes me more excited to try something else here in a minute for you. Wow, my voice is beginning to go already. This has got some nice heat, it's pretty good. Mmm, oh yeah. Let's do one more nug because why not? Man, I am digging this. A little bit of the cool action to kind of bring it down just a bit, but I really love how the spicing is even across the board. This is a beautiful mix of goodness and like I said, a little bit of the coolness, but that heat is really still continuing to build up. It's not really dissipating because of the ranch, but it's definitely there. Pretty good. Oh yeah. They need to keep this on the menu big time. This is really, really good. All right, one more time. Ma'am. Give me some more glory shots. It's just a dipping sauce after all, but even still, it's done the Wendy's way. I'm trying to keep that focus for you. Again, really digging the amount of spice this has got. It's noticeably elevated as you'd expect it to be. It's ghost pepper, right? Here we go. Mmm, ma'am. I should have got maybe a 10 piece nug, aside from what I'm gonna do right now for you. Ma'am, it's really good. And real quick, before we move on, let me grab some water real fast. Mmm, I think that's kind of making it worse actually, but even still, it's wet. It's definitely helping somewhat, I guess. But still, I am really digging the quality of the sauce here, guys. And as you can see, nice mixture of the goodies. Okay, so how could you come to Wendy's and just do nugs and not want to put it on a chicken sandwich with this sauce, all right? So that's what I'm going to do right now for you. Let me get this one opened up here and I'll get this ready to roll. Pop it open here. Let me grab one of the sauces. All right, there we go. We're going to pop this open. I actually picked up a free classic chicken sandwich, minus the tomato and minus the mayo, thanks to that code underneath the Pringles, the Wendy's Spicy Chicken Pringles that I reviewed not that long ago. So that's definitely a beautiful situation in and of itself, because we're really gonna get this thing lathered up just a bit, so we can really give this a shot with this all new ghost pepper ranch sauce. All right, let me pop this lid back on, there we go. And as you can see, this is gonna be the real deal right here. Why they don't have a sandwich with this yet, I don't know, but I'm making it for you right now. We're gonna try it real quick. It's the classic chicken sandwich with the all new ghost pepper ranch sauce here at Wendy's. Let's do it. Mmm, come on, all day long. And this is the spicy patty on top of it. So I'm already starting to have a problem. Let's go for another bite, guys. I'll give you a close up and then I gotta get some water, hang on. Mm, man, oh yeah. More often than not, it's a beautiful chicken sandwich eating experience over here at Wendy's. And when you pair up this all new ghost pepper ranch sauce with the peppery goodness from the actual spicy chicken patty itself, guys, it's a beautiful situation. I'm having trouble talking already. And guys, honestly, again, with the sauce being what it is, it's adding that much heat to the situation here right now. And I'm digging it. This is really a beautiful pairing. So much so that I gotta take a time out real quick because like I said, aside from it being crazy hot outside, this is lighting up my mouth big time. It's delicious though, it really is. Mm. Man, good times, good times. All right, one more bite of this 
And there's something else I want to try for you real fast because I'm super curious about it. And some of you asked me about this in the last review I did from Wendy's with the Pringles. Hint, hint. Hold on one second. Mm. Come on. That's just a beautiful situation. As long as this ghost pepper ranch sauce is out, I'm absolutely gonna be adding it to my chicken sandwiches over here at Wendy's. On the side of any reviews I may be doing from them, this is a beautiful thing, guys. The ranch goodness, the creamy goodness, it's got a little tanginess to it, but the heat along with the awesome flavor from that ghost pepper ranch sauce is going so beautifully with this. I mean, it's fried chicken with ranch, and that's definitely a bonus right there, but a little bit of extra heat, definitely a lovely situation. So speaking of said Pringles, let me put this off to the side here and because I bought two canisters of the Wendy's Spicy Chicken Pringles when I reviewed these, you're probably seeing that review jumping up on your screen or maybe the playlist for Wendy's jumping up on your screen. We're gonna give this a go to see how that ghost pepper ranch sauce is with the Pringles variant of the Wendy's Spicy Chicken. And guess what? I've got another code for another chicken sandwich. You better believe I'm gonna be using it with this ghost pepper ranch. All right, let me bring up one of these. We'll pop this down over here. And let me pick up another ranch. I have one that's open here. Let's give this a shot. This almost looks like it's gonna fit inside the container actually. So here we go. There you go with what you already know, what you've seen already. And let's do a little Pringle action. Spicy chicken from Wendy's and Pringles together. Let's try it like this. That's delicious. That is freaking delicious. Hang on. Ma'am, let me put my water off to the side here. M. We'll put the canister over here because we're gonna do a few of these. This is really tasty. The saltiness that I'm getting from the Pringle and that chicken broth-like flavor that I'm getting and the actual spiciness that it's already got anyway because that's what it's simulating. This is a pretty good Pringle anyway, but guys, with the ghost pepper ranch, this is pretty fun right now. Mmm, absolutely. I guess if you still got some stuff left in the containers when you're done eating your meal, you have some Pringles coincidentally with you. It's a nice dipping sauce just for that. It's not all about the nugs, guys. It's whatever else you can find to try and make whatever else you're eating taste pretty good. And this is actually pretty tasty. So very lovely situation. One more on this, but as you can see, I am so glad to have given this a shot. This is definitely worth checking out, especially if you like heat, guys. For fast food, this is noticeably elevated and the quality is pretty nice. Beautiful stuff over here at Wendy's with this one. Yeah, definitely a beautiful situation with this one, guys. I mean, the ghost pepper ranch sauce, of course, goes beautifully with their spicy nugs for a reason. That combination and that pairing is a beautiful thing. But when you pair that up with the classic chicken sandwich, spicy or regular, I'm sure it's gonna be just as fine. The added kick that you're gonna get from the spicy chicken itself really adds another layer, another dimension to it. And overall, it's still pretty delicious. But hey, let's not forget about the Pringles aspect of it, because like I said, with that new promo out right now for the limited edition Pringles, the spicy chicken variant, it still goes pretty nicely, and the spicing is very similar. I mean, you're getting the same ghost pepper ranch sauce naturally, but the spicing on the chip itself is very apparent. The chicken broth-like flavor is a little bit more minimized because of the heat and the tanginess and the tartness of the ranch itself, but the combination is nice, and it's crunchy and super fun to eat, so still pretty delicious. So with all that said, I'm gonna have to give this all new ghost pepper ranch sauce here at Wendy's a rock solid nine out of 10. And the only reason I'm not giving it the perfect 10 out of 10 is because for me, classic ranch is always gonna be the very top. I mean, it's just a beautiful situation in general. But if you're looking for something a little bit more heated, this is noticeably elevated, especially for fast food heat. And that's really the beautiful thing about that. It's a very even mix across the board. And that ghost pepper flavor really is jumping out at you guys. You're gonna notice it right away when you bite into it. No matter what you put it on, if it's chicken nuggets, if it's chicken sandwiches, or even the Pringles, the spicy chicken Pringles, you already know what to expect. Pretty tasty stuff. All right, so I already know if you've made it this far into the review, you're gonna be giving this one a go. And when you do, are you gonna be experimenting with this one? Drop some comments down below. Let me know if you're gonna put this on the chicken sandwich that I just did right now. Or how about the Pringles? Are you gonna go and complete the trifecta? Aside from those nuggets, drop those comments down below and definitely let me know. And with that, this is Ian K closing out another high quality foodie feature for you here on Peep This Out Reviews, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So why stay tuned for the next review coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty. Yeah, nothing against the spicy nugs over here at Wendy's. I think we can all pretty much agree that some of the best fast food nuggets out there. And of course, the ghost pepper ranch sauce is gonna pair beautifully with it. But guys, again, you can't fade the fact that it needs to be on a chicken sandwich. This ghost pepper ranch needs a full-fledged sandwich to be created for it. It really does. I'm glad I actually did that for you guys today. All right, everyone, until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Hey, thanks for checking out another one of my reviews. But just in case you didn't see the one before this one, you can find it right up over here, along with what I think YouTube's gonna recommend for you to check out as well. As always, I think you'll find something like in both of them, and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. See ya.